Okay, when you first come into the client area, this is the screen that you see. This is at the moment the home area. It just gives you some uh, basic information. Um, and then we're going to look at the different areas. Now, I may as well cover the analytics first because that's first on the list. Um, you won't have anything um, at first, but after the a period of time, obviously, you'll start to gather some information. So it will tell you um, how many total downloads you have, how many new downloads you have, and what's the app usage, uh, any further data, you, there'll be graphs, etc. in this, and whether they're on Android or on Apple. And the next thing we will come to will be the push messaging. So when you come to the push messaging screen, this is what you see. Um, so it's again, very, very self-explanatory. Um, simply type a message. So you may just want to say something like, Now you've got two up. You, you, if you want to send that immediately, press that and anybody with the app will receive that, obviously. Uh, the same thing here, we can schedule the push. So when do we want to send it? Uh, we may want to send it, I don't know, on the 30th. Um, and what time do you want to send it? AM, PM, I'll send it at 9 a 9 a.m. And we can schedule a push there and that's, will go out at the time we want. Now, this down here enables you to send out an SMS directly from your mobile phone. So if you're not in front of the, um, the client area here, you can still send out messages to everybody with the app from your mobile phone. And it's self-explanatory here. Um, you simply put, put the details in here Put the number that you've got your own number that you need to send it to. Put your message in there, save it, and it will go out to everybody as a text message. Incidentally, you'll notice that that message that we uh, scheduled is ready to go there. Now, I don't really see that many people will, will use the uh, SMS side of it because push messaging is much, much more efficient. Um, but if you are away from your computer and you still want to get a message out urgently to everyone, you can do that from your mobile phone. So the next item is gallery. And if we click on gallery, you'll see that we've got some images in there. Ideally, you want pictures of your patients as opposed to pictures of my book, etc., cetera. Um, you can receive messages from Instagram. Um, but equally, this is, if we want to upload from a file here, simply go on here and you know that you know the uh, area to go into. Um, you, you would go on, onto your file on your computer, find, find the um, message, somebody may have emailed it to you, just click on that and that will do that. The same thing with is if you want to fetch messages from Instagram, make sure you're registered with Instagram and put your hashtag in there and it will fetch um, messages directly from Instagram of anybody that sends it to you. And I would really recommend that you get your patients to start sending you messages via Instagram. The next area is offers uh, and you can see I've already clicked on here and I've come into here. So if you want to create a new offer, just click on there. What is the offer? And so we'll say it's um, white and ing, not ting. What's the description? Um, What are the terms? Uh, 
what's the to date, um, sorry, from date, so the 1st of May 2005 uh, to the 31st of May 2000, 2015, sorry, 2015, 2015. You may want to put a price, so uh, we'll just put 10% um, off there. Save that. Do you want to add an image? You may want to add an image. And again, just go and upload a file. Um, let's have a list. quick look in here, whether I can find anything. Um, Can I find anything for whitening? Lots of images, obviously. So let's have a look at that one. Yeah, we'll choose that one. That will do. Up comes the image. And you have your image there. Now, as well as off giving offers, you can also put news items in there. And it's exactly the same procedure, effectively. Um, enter the title. Now, what I would recommend that you probably do is if you write a regular blog, just copy the content from your blog and enter it into there. An event is if you're having some sort of a, an open day or a, a, an open evening or any sort of event that you want to um, put into the system, it will store and 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 effectively you can, you can put any of these items. So you've got offer, Im any images, any news items, any events. They will all then be showing on the on the app. So we then come on to bookings. Um, so let's go and have a look at this area. You will almost certainly want to um, enable booking requests. So obviously you need a, a, an email address to send that to. So I would say something like um, that. try inquiries. And actually, I've already done that one. What SMS, which phone do you want an SMS to come to? So you need to put your country code, incidentally, so it'd be plus four four in this case, and then whatever the phone number is that you want to. Now, the timeouts, uh, you, want, you may want to be quite strict about this. So how long do you want these uh, booking requests to be available for, I don't know, it's up to you really, but maybe 30 minutes might be an ideal time and we want to save that. And so that's what people will be able to send booking requests to you by. The next part is the menu and this is probably the biggest job that you'll have to do um it's these are all the uh, different um types of treatment stroke products that i've got on my app at the moment so i would put some things like dental implants cosmetic dentistry but you'll also see that i've got dental web development because that's what i do mobile app development obviously practice managing suite so on and so forth and you add them or you adjust them um as required. To go into um, one of them, you simply go into here and then into here, and it tells you what the um, description of that is. Now, the easiest way to put this in, and that you see that little, um, that's the area that it's going to come into. What I would do is go to your website. If you've got a dental implants page on your dent on your website, simply do a copy and paste straight into here. 
it's up to you if you want to uh, put a price in there. That's it's it's completely um, voluntary that, uh, and you may want to upload an image. So you know, I would recommend that you upload an image on anything as well. Now, incidentally, we can also um, put a video onto them as well, and I'll sh give you a quick idea of how we do that uh, on another one that I've done here. So if we have a look at um, dental website development, this is video that I've taken from my screen. And again, the, the same thing I, that I applied to it was I just took the information from the dental web, the, my web page, sorry, and I then pasted this area in here. Now, when you go to uh, the app, it will just say, Click here, um, and the, in the this video will start to to play. Let me just give you a quick overview of of how we would do a, a new piece of treatment. So I'm going to add a section in here. I'm going to add a title. Now you can have multiples of this. So for instance, if you do um, straightening for instance you may just want to say straightening here t straightening and then you may have invisalign inmanalign as uh, six months smile or whatever that happens to be but i'm just going to put one here that is just as whitening you'll see it's now put that i want to put some information into here so add an item add a title And then we can add some information. So just go to here and add your description and type in or do a cut and paste from that. So um, If you want to upload an image, it's exactly the same that we, same way that we did it with uh, any other images. You simply just go to um, the, the your image library and upload your image. And if you want to put a price in there, you can. Um, we'll say it's I don't know three hundred pounds. Don't put a, a pound sign in front of it because the system will automatically put the, a pound sign in there for you uh, once you've you're happy with that, then that's pretty much done. And when, as soon as you add that, that comes onto the, um, the app and you can have as many of these as you wish. This is the voucher section, and uh, this is one of the most important parts of the app. The vouchers are when people refer their friends, for instance, um, and you would say what they can get for um, referring friends, how many referrals they will need, um, a welcome reward. So this is when uh, new people are referred to by existing patients what they are going to get when they uh, come to the practice. Now, it, all of this is managed by the app, so you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, when they walk into the practice, they can show you that they've got the reward. Um, the loyalty coupons, they are so important. Now, you may not run a loyalty scheme at the moment, but I really, really suggest that you start this. This has two um, positives. The first is that you obviously encourage people to come back. But the second thing is you encourage people to keep using the app. This is so important. Many people download apps, then they never use them, and eventually they delete them. Well, each time that a patient comes into your practice, you want them to scan the uh, QR code on, on reception or on the wall or wherever you keep it so that they will get something back after, say, five or six visits. Just going through this screen here, again, it's fairly straightforward. There's just one part I just want to uh, go through. This part at the top 
is going to be replaced, so ignore it. You don't need to do anything with this section here. Um, but the two areas down here, uh, loyalty, that needs to stay on, referrals on. So the loyalty coupon, um, what we're going to offer here, so we'll say something like um, 10, pa 10 pounds off any any treatment. So once they've been in six times, they will get a 10 pound voucher from you. Doesn't cost you a lot of money. Remember, you've had them in six times in order to, to get this and you are getting them to keep their um, their app active. This is the referral re reward. So you may want to, I don't know, give somebody, um, I don't know, give them something fairly worthwhile having. So when someone refers five, five new patients or six new patients or however many, you choose how many it is down here. We would say five recommended. And the welcome reward is what people are going to get when they come into their practice. So I would say you're going to give something like 20% uh, off any treatment. Save the changes and that's your welcome, uh, that's your vouchers section finished and done. Okay, we're getting close to the end now. Um, so we're just coming to the last two areas on the uh, dashboard. And um, this one is resources. And um, these are things that you need to um, have in your practice. So we've got the QR code for um, people to download the app. This literally means that if they have a QR reader on their mobile phone, they literally have to point the phone at this QR code here, um, which will be on the wall or somewhere in your, in your practice, and it will automatically download the app. Next, we have the loyalty uh, QR code. You need to download this, print it, and put it somewhere in reception or in one of the surgeries or in all your surgeries. Um, this will put a tick into the loyalty box whenever anybody scans this. And this is a poster that you would just need to uh, download and put up some in, around your practice, encouraging people to download the app, show people what, what the app is, where, that it's available both on the App Store and Google Play. You can put this thing onto your website too and put a link to the app behind it so people can do that. It's just the resource for your practice so that you can get as many of your patients using the app as possible. Oh, we get, we're getting close to the end now, so we're just going to have a very quick look at user admin. And as you'd expect, it's just about your password um, access to the app. We don't have multiple um, people logging into this, and there's no great admin to do, so it's literally about changing um, passwords. So that really takes you through the dashboard on the app. Um, you can go in and change pretty much any part of the app at any time. Uh, you can push messages out as often as you want. You can have as many different pictures in your gallery. Uh, we would recommend you, you, you get as many and get people engaging with you. This is all about getting them to use the app. Offers, obviously, push those out. Again, engagement for the app. Getting people to make bookings by the app, another th big thing. Your menu, this is your different treatments. As you bring on a different treatment or an improved treatment, make sure that it goes into the menu. Vouchers, so, so important. The marketing that you will get from the app is just unbelievable in comparison to traditional marketing. If you were to uh, advertise in Facebook or on Google, yes, you will get a response, but at, at the end of the day, it is people responding to an ad that they see from, from you. 
with referrals this is getting people responding to a friend referring them that is just so much more important you will probably get something like a hundred percent more more uh, response from people referring than you will from an ad at a fraction of the price may I add I would suggest that the app is probably worth between 500 and a thousand pounds worth of Google and Facebook advertising per month um, equally in the voucher section um, the 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 ability to keep people using the app each time they come into the practice make sure that they scan the QR code encourage them to scan the QR code encourage them to get that 10 pounds because a you want people to keep coming back to the practice but b you want them to use use the app and keep using the app um, obviously resources we've been through but you should be now be able to use the app uh, use the dashboard and uh, enjoy using it and uh, let us know if you have any problems um, keep us informed as to what you're doing with it anything that you find interesting we're interested too and thank you very much for watching.